Welcome in my beautiful builders back to some more Vault Hunters. And since the last episode, we did another live stream where we ran some more vaults. And you know what? This time I'm actually going to show you guys some clips from it because I got two rooms that were really, really awesome. You might want a stronger magnet. I do need a stronger magnet, but I don't have one right now. It's a problem. <gasps> Pog! Pog indeed. I don't even care about the scab anymore. I care only about the knowledge. Give me the things. Give me the things. All of the things. I need ornates and I need wooden. So let's go, go gadget. Get them. I bet most of you in the chat don't even know what I just said. <gasps> it's a mine room. Are you kidding me? I have yet to find one of these. I have yet to find a mine room. And now, here, on stream. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> I was doing so good for my scav, too. I gotta do it. I can't not do the mine room. At least pick out the ores that I can see. Right? Right? I gotta at least pick out the ores I can see. Hold on. Let me grab some... Anybody even remember Vine? I was never on it, but I remember it. It was the old TikTok. Now TikTok's the big one. I've never been one to get into short form content, so. I never enjoyed it and I've, I've never made it. Oh, hey, Black Opal. Did I pick it up? I don't think I picked it up. Where'd it go? Uh, I was hoping to find more pog ores during this, but doesn't look like I'm getting too terribly lucky with that. Anyway, yeah, in case you guys have never seen a mine room before, this is basically what you want to do. However, you want a much better Paxel than what I want here. Or even, even if you had a hammer, like a hammer with max hammering size, to just delete all of these blocks. You want to get rid of basically everything from top to bottom, and then come in with a copiously pick and just destroy everything. That's the idea for mine rooms, at least. So yeah, another mushroom room, as well as a mine room. That was absolutely awesome. But I also have a couple other updates for my gear. I got myself a brand new pair of leggings that I actually crafted myself because, well, uh, <laughs> my other leggings kind of were almost dead. <laughs> I didn't have much durability left, and rather than use a repair core, I decided to just make some new leggings. I also did the exact same thing for my vault boots, and yeah, not too bad. Pretty good pieces of armor here, as well as I have a brand new sword, which is pretty epic if i do say so myself check out all that attack damage and i still have poison cloud it doesn't have chaining but i mean we're up to 103 damage per second that's kind of insane i'm basically able to one hit everything in the vaults 
it's pretty awesome but today is going to be a big episode because we are now in update 10 which means we have access to some brand new workstations specifically the jewel cutter which i'm really excited for it's not as good as i originally thought it was going to be but it's still going to be useful and we're going to need it today because my paxel broke in that mine room that i showed on screen so yeah, we're gonna need a brand new pick. And lucky for us, I actually am level 35 now, which means we have the next tier of pick unlocked, which is the Valterite pick. So we can actually make one of these and go ahead and get it jeweled up with some brand new jewels. And we can even attempt to cut those jewels so that we can make a pretty good pick. I'm actually pretty excited to play around with this jewel cutter. The only question that I have is how expensive is this thing? Looks like it's gonna take some chromatic steel, some extraordinary Laramar, glass pane, and some driftwood. That's that's not too bad, actually. I think we can definitely do that. And there we go. Nice and easy. That is the jewel cutting station. And I'm going to place this right here for now, just so we can get a look at it. Well, that's a cool looking model. <laughs> like the little magnifying glass that kind of comes over the table. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. That looks super cool. Okay, so it looks like the way this thing works is we need some vault bronze and some silver scrap. And then we just need to place our jewel in here. And then it looks like we can just go ahead and click it. So maybe I need to find some jewels first. But boy, that's a really high failure chance there. 50% chance of failure? That won't do. And lucky for me, because I am indeed level 35 and I haven't spent my expertise points, we can actually improve those odds. Let's go ahead and let's head into the expertise section. There is a brand new expertise called jeweler. And what we can do is increase the likeliness that we cut a jewel to 16% or plus 16%. So we'll have a much higher chance of this jewel actually being cut successfully. So if I go ahead and put both of my expertise points into here, that should give us a 34% chance of failure rather than 50, which is much, much, much better. <laughs> I like those odds. That that definitely stacks the odds more in my favor. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pick out some jewels to put on my pick and turn this thing back into a Paxel. And then we're gonna try and stack some copiously on this guy as well. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely feel like I'm gambling with this thing, but I think it'll get our jewel sizes way, way, way down, which may actually be worth it. So if I take something like this, which is shoveling and copiously, and I just hit it, hey, okay, it didn't break. That is good. And that gets it down to 26 size, but I lost my copiously. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, that's not worth it to do then. No way, you're joking. That was such a good jewel. <laughs> okay, so maybe don't use the flawed jewels because that will get rid of your other items that are on the jewel. That is, that is not good. I do not like that as a feature. Well, it didn't take me long and I already messed up. <laughs> oh, that is how, uh, that's how all of the new features for Vault Hunters always feels for me. Well, sadly, I don't think that this particular pick is going to be anything amazing. I'm going to be able to get a little bit of copiously on this guy, but honestly, it's still pretty low. So let's go ahead and make this thing into a Paxel, though. So we'll go ahead and add shoveling. We'll go ahead and add axing. There's our brand new Paxel. And then we will start throwing on the copiously and my anvil broke <laughs> let me get a new anvil in fact isn't there a vault anvil that never breaks it may be worth the investment for that oh black chromatic and cr never mind i changed my mind completely let's just do let's just do a regular anvil <laughs> yeah that thing's expensive all right there we go we have 2.1 percent copiously not great and then i'm also just going to throw on a mining speed gem so we'll have an increase of 5.7 mining speed which is not bad i will definitely take it now i was considering not making a new sickle however 
with the increased capacity and all of these jewels that I have saved up for item rarity, item quantity, things like that, it may actually be worth it to make a brand new sickle and just stack up as much item quantity and rarity as I possibly can. So new super sickle, maybe? Let's see if I can make this thing. Looks like I just need some vault bronze and some more vaulterite ingots. I think that's definitely possible. Alrighty, and there goes a brand new sickle. Now we just need to pick out a bunch of jewels for this guy. And honestly, I think we can really get this guy pretty good. Uh, coin affinity and ornate just on this guy. He may be worth cutting down though. We'll see. I'm going to, I'm going to pull that guy out for right now, but we'll see. We'll see. That could definitely be good. We need living. We need, yeah, we need all of our affinities back. Now there also was another new workstation that was added and that is the jewel applicator. And I think that this works a lot like an anvil, but I think that this thing lasts forever. I don't think it has a durability like an anvil. So Let's go ahead and make this guy and we'll just set it down right here. And I think I can go ahead and put my sickle in here. And now I can just throw in all of the jewels that I want to do. And yeah, you can see we have 110 capacity left. So if we click this button, it'll take down 90 of the capacity. But now I should be able to play around with these guys, all of these item quantity and item rarity jewels and it should be a lot easier for us to see how much capacity we have left. So if I start with like the smallest jewel size here of 11 and we throw that in, you'll see that we have 99 capacity left and we can scroll down here and see all of the, all of the prefixes and suffixes that we have. That is really good. So if I go ahead and I just try and do our smallest size things. So item quantity, and then a item rarity and then another item quantity and we can just load this guy up <laughs> we still have 28 left let's see what do we want do we want item quantity item rarity item quantity let's see this one is the best item quantity one and what is this item rarity at 31 so this one won't fit but this one should so that would give us a huge amount of item quantity as well as a bit of item rarity plus all of our affinities and such like this is <laughs> this is a crazy good sickle 0.3 or 3.4 percent item quantity and 1.5 percent item rarity plus trap disarm chance plus mining speed plus we have axing plus all of our affinities and such where's that axing one uh, this one. Okay, it's 17. So yeah, we wouldn't even want to replace that for one of these. So I think that is one amazing cleaver. <laughs> I will take it. I will definitely take it. I think that that is a really, really good new tool. But without further ado, we have ourselves four knowledge stars and we are only three knowledge shards away from making our fifth which will allow us to unlock refined storage. So I think it is time for us to now get into our vault for today. Let's go ahead, open this guy up and make sure that we have everything. We got our pouches, we got our shard pouch. We are good. Make sure that our magnet is on and let's do this thing. Alrighty, so it looks like we are doing a scav vault with bonus gilded. Nice, not bad. I will definitely take that. Um, the scav vault may be a little bit difficult though, because we have a super rare item, the skeleton rib cage, which we need, and that could be a bit of a problem. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Nice. And cleaver's pretty quick. Pretty quick. Nice. And we should be getting even more items because of the item quantity and rarity that we've added on. So... Oh yeah, I'm happy with this. This is, this is very, very nice. <laughs> Let's go, bring it on, Vault. Hello, you're scary. Never mind. Don't bring, don't bring these guys on. Bring, bring other things that are, <laughs> that are a little nicer to me. I guess technically for this Vault, I shouldn't even be worrying about going after these wooden chests, but I did just want to check these guys to see if they were able to be mined any faster. 
doesn't appear to be so, but you know, it was worth the check at least. <laughs> You know, I don't know if this uh, item quantity and item rarity is helping yet, but I guess we'll see after this vault if we get an insane amount of the uh, knowledge essence. We'll definitely know from the very few living chests that I've actually found. <laughs> I mean, it's got to help somewhat, right? I would assume so. The crazy part is, I think that this vault is actually still possible. I mean... I found a decent number of living POIs and uh, yeah, basically all we would need to find is an ore room POI. And I think, I think we actually still could complete this scav. I mean, 15 minutes left isn't a ton of time, but I think it would be enough. <laughs> nice. Let's see, do we have the drowned hide? This is, this is the big thing. Yeah, two more is what we need, which is, yeah, that's kind of a lot kind of a lot you go away <laughs> all right so we we're still a little ways off i thought i was going to be a little bit closer but eh, okay all right we're fine let's find some more living Well, I found an ore POI room, so maybe we'll get the skeleton rib cages, but unless this room also has a lot of living, like down there, <laughs> unless it also has that, we may not be able to complete this vault. We would have to get really lucky here, which honestly don't think is going to happen. Let's see. There we go. Okay, do we get... We got one drowned hide. No, we didn't get two. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, looks like we're probably not going to be able to complete this vault. And in fact, that was the only ore POI that I saw in this room so far. So yeah, even with ores, we may be short, which is not particularly awesome. The crazy thing is I was able to complete like basically every single one of my scav vaults on stream. <laughs> and then every time I'm recording, it's like, yeah... You're not completing this one. Sorry, bucko. <laughs> Sorry, bucko. You're not completing this one. I guess I just have the video curse. <laughs> I'm lucky on stream and cursed whenever I record. Ooh, this is an ore POI room. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We could still get the skeleton rib cages done, but I'm not, I'm not super, <laughs> not super confident about us getting the, um, about us getting the drowned hide because the drowns don't actually drop drowned hide anymore in case you guys didn't know that was changed in an update i don't know when i think update eight maybe i don't know it's been a while anyway um so instead you have to find all of the hide drops and things like that you got to get them from living chests or anything like that so it's kind of disappointing because i really liked it to where you could get them from both whether it be living chests or actually killing a drowned but Whatever, I guess, I guess this is just what we got to deal with. <laughs> kind of doesn't make sense that you don't get drowned hide from drown, but whatever, dude. Like to me, it would make sense if you could get it from both locations, right? It would make sense to me if you could get drown hide from not only the living chests, obviously, in case you have a vault where, you know, there are no drowned, but if you're in a vault like this one, where there are drowned, right? Right? It would make sense that you would get it. Did we get any rib cages? We got none. <laughs> well, it may not matter. I may just be complaining for nothing because I'm not going to get the rib cages 
or the uh, drowned hide out of this one. Man, that's disappointing. getting one rib cage but that is not the two that i need and i'm still one short on the drowned hide as well and the clock is ticking so yeah i think it's time for me to go ahead and head out ah oh, very disappointing vault very very disappointing vault <laughs> it's okay though it's fine we still have some crates to open back at the base as well as i think i have some bounties maybe that we have completed I actually don't remember what my bounties are, to be honest. So I may be promising that and it may be untrue because <laughs> honestly, I don't remember. Either way, back out of the vault, I go. Let's see how we did. It's going to be pretty bad. Yeah, only 8,000 experience. <laughs> 133 chests looted, though, and that's with me not focusing on chests. So that's pretty good still. 57 ores mined as well as 18 coin piles. You know what? I'm fine with it. Not a great vault, but not a terrible vault either. And let's go ahead and check our knowledge essence. 55. That, that actually should be enough for our last knowledge star. As well as we got a decent amount of rare ores, such as Ashium, which I don't have a ton of. We have Upaline, which I don't have a ton of. And some Black Opal, Bombing Knight, Gorgonite. I mean, look, that was pretty good. That was really, really good. 12 vault diamonds and then... Over here, we got a lot of scav items that we can go ahead and break down, which is something that I need to uh, actually mention. <laughs> I actually went ahead and made this vault soul diffuser, and we did this on live stream, and basically what it allows us to do is take our scav items or any items. For instance, I could take this Phoenix dust that has a soul value of 64. I could throw it in here and it will diffuse it down into soul shard dust so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to take all of these scav items that we have and we can go ahead and we can just melt them down right here for soul dust and then it takes nine soul dust to make one soul shard so it's not amazing but it will give us a little bit of extra soul shards for us to use in the black market Alrighty, so I do have a bounty that I can complete. It is 104 diamonds submitted here at the bounty table. Let's go ahead and do that. And we now can get ourselves a nice chest plate to roll. Some vault ingots, sweet kiwi, as well as some vault diamonds. Not too bad. I will take that and it will complete our nice little uh, crate pattern that we have going on here. Now we have six crates to open up, which I'm pretty excited about. We got three bounties and three scavs nice Alrighty, well it is loot time starting off with some mystery boxes did we get anything good nope okay just some laramar as well as we probably have things in our pouches yeah just some diamonds and emeralds all right nothing great let's go ahead and do our relic booster packs one relic the fire element which i think is actually new let's see Yep, we do not have that one yet, so we are almost there. We still need two more relics in that set. Man, I'm actually surprised that we haven't gotten any relics thus far in this uh, in this game, in this particular playthrough. I, I would assume that we would have had one by now, one completed set, but yeah, we've just gotten really unlucky. But now it is loot crate time. Pop, 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 pop. Let's do it. <laughs> That is a lot of items. <laughs> Once again, we will use this shulker to help us out with the jewels. Go ahead and throw all of them in there. Pick up the rest of this stuff. Get in there, jewels. And we will go over the jewels here in just a minute. But first, I want to roll all of our gear and check it out and see what we got. 
And out of all of that gear, there's really only two pieces that are worth even looking at. And that is this vault helmet, which has 13 armor as well as plus 9% increased damage, which is pretty good. However, it has an empty suffix slot. So I want to just throw on the suffix, see if we get anything good. Trap disarm chance. So no, probably not. That is not going to be better than what we currently have with the plus five health plus the three armor. I mean, yeah, the armor is a little bit better on this guy, but yeah, the increased damage plus the health and all, it's just not as good. So we can go ahead and scrap that guy. And then our boots, I'm actually currently wearing scrappy boots and this is a common set of boots. So this will probably be worth at least a few rerolls here. So let's just see if we get anything good. Well, first off, uh, I don't like the Thorns Chance or Knockback Resist, so let's go ahead and re-roll that. Uh, mana and Knockback, no. Mana and Mana Regen plus Item Rarity. Ooh, that's really good. I don't particularly like the plus mana, but... Do I re-roll that? Do I seriously re-roll that? I think I'll re-roll that. Ah, oh, that, that's horrible. I would like to have another armor prefix, to be honest. Uh, or health. I'll take health. Knockback resist and trap disarm chance. Yeah, no, still reroll. Still reroll. <laughs> uh, plus two health, plus 5% mana regen. There we go. Plus four armor and thorns chance. And then we have an empty suffix. Okay, so we just need some plating and some bronze. And let's give this a go with a random modifier. Soul chance. Uh... I don't know. You know what? I think that's probably better. I think that that's probably better. That'll bring our defense up to 48, which is probably pretty good. So we'll take this particular pair of boots that we have and we will replace these old boots. So put those over there and then these we will get enchanted up and we can go ahead and put those guys into here and see what we get just some vault scrap all right that's fine Alrighty, let's go ahead and quickly go over the jewels durability not too good living is good flawless jewel with item rarity picking and trap disarm chance that is pretty decent for a size of 71 not amazing but you know too not too bad uh shoveling 31 picking uh living 87 is too big shoveling 81 is too big living is good uh this guy is okay decent 69 corn affinity is not any good 63 wooden is not any good 54 vanilla immortality no 82 item no 41 vanilla immortality no 18 items good axings good not a good soul bound and hammer size i never get rid of hammer sizes because those are just way too good so not a bad set of uh jewels there but the rest of these guys i guess so here's the problem the vault recycler has actually been reworked and it's been reworked in a major way in that it does not give Wudu die back very often whenever you scrap these guys you're mostly going to just get silver scrap now if you are cutting gems and you break it then you're almost always guaranteed to get wuda die so if we had something like this particular coin affinity which you know coin affinities are always good to have sometimes it's better to actually cut them and let them break because if you cut them and they don't break you may have a better jewel but if they do break you still get some wuda die out of it so this jewel cutting station is a little bit tricky to to use so for instance this item quantity uh 82 getting that down to a usable size probably not any good however if we want to get some wuda die out of it then we're gonna have to use some silver scrap to do so so it's better for something that's really big to just go ahead and vault recycle so you get the silver scrap because you're not going to get it down low enough that it's going to be a good jewel anyway. And then these things here, such as, I don't know, uh, wooden affinity is probably too high. The durability probably wouldn't be a bad one to go ahead and try to cut because that could end up going low enough that it's decent. So it's only 43 right now. We just need to add in some silver scrap. And then, okay, well, it broke, that's fine. 
but you saw we got it down to like 30. It could have been useful. And now we have some Wuda dye and some gemstones that we can go back over here and we can use it to craft new jewels. So that's the way to get Wuda dye now. It, it's better to use this if it's just way too big of a jewel, such as, you know, 74. That's way too big. However, for this one, I will be chancing it with the jewel cutter later on. But anyway, that's basically how this thing works. Um, yeah, I, I actually like the vault recycler the way that it used to work where you got Wuda dye more consistently, but whatever, this change is not too terribly bad. But now it is time to make our very last knowledge star that we need in order to unlock refined storage. Five knowledge stars. Let's do this thing. I am super excited. Let's go. Oh, baby. <laughs> and we can go ahead and we can pick up refined storage immediately. Let's get this thing going. So the very first thing that we need in order to get started with refined storage is the controller. And we're going to have to do some pretty deep crafting here in order to get this guy up and running. So first off, we need four chromatic steel. That's not too bad. But then we need these different types of processors. We need an advanced processor, a destruction processor, an improved processor, and a construction processor. And these things are not cheap. For instance, this one costs the vault essence as well as an improved processor. The improved processor costs a raw improved processor and you just gotta smelt it. The raw improved processor costs processor binding, chromatic steel, a block of redstone, as well as a raw basic processor. And then the raw basic processor costs silicon, more processor binding, some chromatic iron, as well as a block of redstone. Silicone is just smelted quartz, which isn't too bad, but the binder processing is magic silk, as well as Laramar and a slime ball. So this has some deep, deep crafting trees in order to get this stuff done. But overall, I think we can definitely do it. It's just going to take us a bit <laughs> to do all of this crafting. So I'm gonna get started here with smelting down some quartz because I definitely know that we're going to need that. Two stacks of it should probably be enough. Let's just find one of these guys that has eight coal in it. There we go. So I'll leave that to smelt. And then the rest of this stuff, I'll go ahead and start crafting up. And it looks like I'm about to use up all of my slime balls here. All three of them will probably have to take a trip over to the swamp. But there we go. That is 12 processor bindings. And that will make me 12 raw basic processors. And now I'm out of processor binding, so I'm going to have to go to the swamp and kill off some slimes. <laughs> oh, well, I thought I was going to be able to get away with it, but uh, nope, we got to take a quick trip. Well, I just spent the entire night in the swamp without a single slime spawning. So I think it's actually probably time that we get a much better method to consistently get slime balls. And for that, I'm going to need quite a bit of wheat. So... I'm going to go over to this village here and see if there's some hay bales left around. And uh, yeah, eventually we'll make a proper wheat farm for what I'm going to do. But uh, for right now, this should work. What in the heck happened here? <laughs> uh, Saul, are you good? Why is there, why is there problems? And more importantly, are you cutting? <laughs> uh, hello, contraption, are you broke? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna have to fix this. I don't know how I'm gonna fix this, but what if I just like help it out here? <laughs> are you good? Can you, can you, can you keep moving? Uh-oh. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's, let's stop it. Boom. And continue. Okay, he's working again. He's working. Oh, wait, but he's got another problem. He's dragging, he's dragging saplings along with him. <laughs> hold on. I got you, buddy. I got you. I'm going to fix you up. 
Okay, go ahead and place all of this back in here, and this guy should be fine. I don't know where the ash came from, though. That is a little concerning, to be honest with you, but we'll we'll figure it out, I guess. Let this guy go and keep planting and all. Where did the ash come from? Who? <laughs> okay. Very, very confused here. And I don't have enough saplings to get this guy. Ow. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. I deserved that. I probably deserved that. Go away. Go away. All right. <laughs> I'm going to have to replant here real quick before I before I get on with my slime ball making. Okay, anyway, now that that guy is repaired, let's go ahead over to our grinding wheels and we are just going to throw in our wheat. Go ahead and make sure my magnet is switched off. And there we go. It is gonna grind our wheat down into a little bit of wheat flour, theoretically. This thing still takes a long time. There we go. There's all the wheat flour. Go ahead and turn our magnet on and pick all of that stuff up. Nice. Now we just need to add some water to our wheat flour, which we should be able to do just with an encased fan and a water bucket. Let me go grab that. And this little temporary washing setup should work for what we need. We're just going to blow some blue particles on this guy from our water, and that should turn into dough. And then from there, all I need to do is crush down some sea pickles to get some lime dye, and then we should make a fair amount of slime balls out of this. So there's our dough, and here is our lime dye. Now all we need to do is lime dye and dough, and there we go, 32 slime balls. Back to working on refined storage. Now I should be able to make three raw improved processors. I can smelt those down into improved processors. And then I also need one raw advanced processor that I can go ahead and smelt down into an advanced processor. Let's go ahead and take out our three improved processors. And we're gonna have to go ahead and make some more items out of these guys. So back to our controller and we're going to need a construction core which needs a vault essence. So let's go ahead and grab that out. One vault essence should be pretty easy. And that is our construction core done. And then for our other guy, uh, let's go ahead and pull back up the controller recipe. We need the destruction core, which needs a vault diamond. So another vault diamond being used up here. Where are they? There we go. And then we just take our improved processor with the vault diamond. There's our destruction core. And last but not least, I think we just need this guy out of here, the advanced processor. And I think we can make the controller now. Let's see. Controller, we're missing the machine casing, which is some quartz enriched iron. Uh-oh, uh, vault diamond and some chromatic steel. Okay, quartz enriched iron. How is that made? Chromatic iron, Laramar, and quartz. That is actually not too bad. Let me grab some Laramar and some quartz out. Laramar and quartz. Nice and easy. And let's go ahead and make a fair amount of that. Encased. No, it wasn't encased. What was it called? Machine frame? Yeah, this guy. Machine casing. There we go. So let's go ahead and make this. And then we'll just make, I don't know. We're probably going to need this for more stuff. So we'll just make 16 for right now. And now, can we make the controller? Let's see. Controller, machine casing. We need one vault diamond. <laughs> My inventory is getting to be a mess. All of this uh, deep crafting that we're having to do. Controller. There we go. That is the machine casing done. And now that is our refined storage controller done <laughs> that is not easy that is not an easy craft by any means okay so next up we are going to need some type of interface which isn't going to be cheap we're going to need a crafting grid which is going to cost our very first echo pog which i'm not even sure that i can craft that's gonna cost eight pogs and a perfect echo gym Oh, that's gonna hurt. That is really gonna hurt. We're also going to need a disk drive, 
which let's see where is the disk drive uh let's see disk drive there we go disk drive which costs another machine casing two black chromatic steel some chromatic steel ingots a chest and an advanced processor oh boy this stuff is going to get expensive quickly but i'll tell you what i'm just going to focus on one thing at a time let's see if i can actually make an echo pog i'm going to guess that i can't but let's see what we have for unique gems uh-oh yeah that's not good <laughs> let's try ore we may have enough ore in order to get ourselves there maybe oh boys we're gonna have to break all this stuff down i'm not gonna lie i am not liking the look of this <laughs> i think we're going to be short on pogs oh man okay let's start with our tubium five okay pizza night 10 okay oh wait nope there's more back here 13 okay and our ashium 15 our upaline how many did we get 18 hello that is really good bombing night 21 hey -o. okay gorgonite which i think i already have a ton of this stuff 30 okay that's that's really really good <laughs> xenium oh that looks good too 27 nice sparkle teen 11 Ooh, and last but not least scallium 33 okay so the one that we have the least of is tubium with five wow that is <laughs> that is literally the thing that is going to keep us from doing more here isn't it wow that hurts <laughs> that really really hurts darn you tubium okay so we can't make the crafting grid we're gonna have to wait for probably the next episode in order to be able to do that so i guess we'll just go straight for the regular grid which i think we have to have the regular grid before we can make the crafting grid anyway right we need, yeah, we need the regular grid before we can go here anyway. So let's go ahead and make the regular grid, which costs a pog, a single pog, and then some chromatic steel, some Laramar, and some stuff like that. Okay, this one isn't too bad. We can do that. And then the drive manipulator isn't too bad, or not the drive ma manipulator, the disk drive isn't too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get these crafted up. It's gonna take me a minute. Alrighty, so there is our grid. Our two black chromatic steel that we're going to need for our disk drive. And then last but not least, the disk drive itself. And that is essentially our entire refined storage setup. However, we're also going to need cables and we're also going to need some drives. So let's see how much the refined storage cables are. I actually don't know. Let's do refined and let's see just a normal cable is some of that more uh, quartz refined iron with some glass and some redstone that shouldn't be too bad let's do refined iron okay we only have the eight that we've made and how hard was that again i think that is let's see quartz Okay, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Just nether quartz, chromatic iron, and laramar to get two. Yeah, that's not bad at all. And boy, is refined storage going to be just a crafting nightmare. Like, it's not particularly difficult, but it's just rough to get all of this crafting done. This is an external storage bus, which we're definitely going to need to hook up our drawers, as well as our colossal chest. And as you can see, it's going to take more of these processors, some chests, some quartz enriched iron, but it also takes an interface, which takes a machine casing, which takes importer and exporter, which these take more processors. And yeah, this thing is just not going to be simple to, uh, to get started with. It's going to take me a lot of crafting. <laughs> well, I do have some cables made up. So maybe what we do is we just start by going and hooking up power to this guy first and then we can work on interfacing with our drawers and our colossal chest 
before we ever even think about getting drives. Well, it's not gonna be the cleanest cable that I've ever run, but it should work at the very least. And with this cable here, we should now be hooked up for power to the main base over from our charcoal setup. So now we just need to connect into our refined storage system, but I'm not sure that I quite want to do that yet, at least until I have the interfaces set up for drawers as well as for our colossal chest. So maybe our best option here is going to be to go ahead and make a refined storage external, um, what are those things called? External bus, external storage bus. So this thing. So we need some destruction cores. We need some construction cords. We need a couple of interfaces. So two interfaces, which is machine casings and importers and exporters. And yeah, this is going to be a lot. <laughs> and here is our first external storage bus, which is, <laughs> it's pretty rough to craft these. I'm not going to lie. These are not simple crafts. And I'm also going to need more of these improved processors, which means I'm going to need more redstone. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to absolutely destroy my redstone supply here, but I think it's worth it. I hope it's worth it in order to have everything already hooked up. I mean, it seems like a good idea at least. <laughs> I may come to regret this great idea, but we will see very shortly. And now here is our second external storage bus. Man, that costs an insane amount of items in order to make. That is just so expensive. But either way, it is time for us to go ahead and get rid of our simple storage network. We can get rid of all of this stuff. Well, I guess except for the crafting table. <laughs> We're still gonna need that for right now, but we should be able to hook everything else up with a cable and then just put an external bus right over here underneath this guy. So just dragging a cable all the way back here and then it should just be a matter of external storage there, cable there, and that should now be hooked up into this cable. Let's go ahead and give it a try and move our controller over to there. Go ahead and just do this. Boom. And nothing. I don't have any FE. Why do I not have any FE? That should be hooked up all the way. Well, that should be hooked up all the way. I don't know. Let's go and see. Uh, that's not good. Why aren't you connected? Hello? You're supposed to connect to you. You don't connect to you. Why don't you connect to you? <laughs> uh, in case you guys don't know, I am actually a uh, applied energistics guy. I mostly work with that. So I may have messed up here. I may have messed up pretty big time. <laughs> okay, let's see. Alrighty, so based off of my reading, I'm going to assume that these cables don't actually transmit power. So, basically I made a ton of these cables for no reason. <laughs> That's essentially what I'm getting at here. I need to take all of these out and I instead need to go and swap over to the power energy cables, which they're going to be a little bit expensive. However, we get like 12 out of them each. So theoretically, this shouldn't be too bad, but we'll have to see. Uh, I don't have that much uh, power cable stuff ready right now. So we'll have to play around with it, see how it goes. But I basically can remove... Actually, do I even want to remove this line? Because it's technically already set up over there which I'm gonna need anyway. So maybe we just put this back in place and then we'll run a second cable over there to get the power from uh, from my furnator. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Alrighty, so everything is 
well, it's a mess, <laughs> but it is working. So we now have access to our grid. It's not a crafting grid yet, but once we get enough pogs, this should be our setup for basically the rest of the game. We're just missing Tubium the darn tubium <laughs> but that's okay we will get more of that here fairly soon and as you can see things are not lagging nearly as badly with refined storage however everything is just it's very messy right now we have our power cable running through here which we'll probably have to upgrade at some point to a better cable but anyway it's running underground and then goes down here into this little chamber and then runs all the way into our create room which we will definitely have to cover up and take care of all of these lines here in the future as you can see there's a hole in the floor over here and holes in the floor over here but it does head all the way over to our furnator so we have power all the way at the base and this is completely renewable so we are now set up for power and set up for refined storage just got a lot of cleaning up to do <laughs> although i'm not even sure if i'm going to clean up quite yet just because the crafting is such a pain right now with this grid i'm still having to swap over to a normal crafting table in order to to do my crafting so i think what i may do is just hold off hold off on cleaning up and everything until i'm able to craft a lot easier here and that'll allow me to just make all of the blocks and such that you know need to be crafted and uh, all of this stuff set up and all of that set up more properly and basically we're in an in-between phase for our base right now and i think having that crafting grid will make it a lot lot easier to move into the next stage that's a lot cleaner <laughs> so i think i'm gonna hold off here for today everything's a mess which is kind of become the typical but i'm gonna leave it here and in the next episode we're gonna run some vaults we're gonna try and get some pog ores that way we can make ourselves the crafting grid and that will just be absolutely fantastic but anyway guys that's gonna be where i wrap up for today i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like on the video as well as if you're new around here be sure to subscribe but anyway guys that's gonna be it for me today i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one you guys have a great day I'm so happy to have refined storage up now. Like <laughs> it is going to make it a little bit easier to cover all of this up. We'll have to get some facades and stuff, but I mean, honestly, honestly, I probably need to come up with a better way to do these cables and such. Ah, that's for another episode. That's for another episode. For now, everything is, it's working, just not pretty. <laughs>